Uh, we just got a package from Illinois, from Jose. Jose called me a couple of times to talk to me about the problem with his phone. He called me midnight. I knew that this was an out-of-state call and somebody who had some type of urgency, and that's why they called at that time. Jose said that he changed the screen on it, and as a result, now touch is not working. Now, it's very common that when you change the screen on an iPhone, touch goes bad. Why is that? Because when you try to pry the screen off the board, what you end up doing is ripping components from the logic board. The components are right under the connector. I'll show you what I mean under the microscope. So touch is not working. The first thing we have to do is disconnect the battery, which is right over here. Battery is disconnected. This is where the screen connects. It's just gently from the surface. We go under the connector and pull sideways. So we just go like this. Go under the connector and pull sideways. Go under the connector and pull sideways. Now, if, you, uh, if you're not careful, you can easily rip components from under the connector. And these components are extremely tiny. They are the SMD01005 components, microscopic. Let's take a look under the microscope. Right off the bat, I see a missing component. Do you see it? Right over here. And this is probably and most likely a filter that is responsible for the touch. So when the person tried to fry the connector off the board, what he ended up doing is ripping this component off also. A lot of people I see, they go like this with the tweezer and they pry the connector off and they end up ripping a component off the board like you see here. The good thing is I do not see anything else missing on this board. So if we count from here, we have those three components here. Let's count one, two, three, and it's right on top of it. Yeah, so those three components, we're going to count one, two, three, and it's right on top. So look at this. This is the SPI touch to AP MISO filter. This filter is responsible for the touch, and that's why the touch is not working. So what we're going to do is get the component off a donor board, solder it on this board, and touch should work again on this board. Let's get a component off a donor board. I have a six. <coughs> the first thing I want to do is add solder onto the pads. Otherwise, the component is not going to stick on those pads. We are dealing with very, very tiny pads, so we're going to use an extra fine soldering tip. And let's do this. We're going to add some flux. So we just added two solder blobs on the pads. And I couldn't have done it without this tip. Now let's take the component off a donor board. Right there. Okay, it's very difficult to grab on this component with your tweezers. So what I do is I make it stick to one side of the tweezer. And I put it right here. I know it's a little bit difficult to see because of the flux and how tiny those components are. And that's it. The component is soldered in place. The 
just making sure that all the components are in place. And that's it. And as you can see, we touched the plastic on the FPC connector. That's okay because it's extremely difficult not to touch it. The components are very, very close to the connector. I mean, you see a tiny gap between the components and the connector, but in reality, the components are almost touching. But under the microscope, it looks a little bit farther away. We are using extremely fine solder tips, and sometimes it's unavoidable to touch the plastic on the FPC connector. That's not a problem. Where's the screen? Right over here. And touch is working. So the filter was the problem and the filter was causing the touch not to work. The phone is working and everything is good. So uh, dealing with those components is not so easy. And just an advice to anybody changing screens on their iPhones, uh, do not dig deep under the connector when trying to pry the connector off. Do not use a tweezer or anything sharp to pry the connector off. Just use your nail or something uh, flat and soft. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.